question is how to sell the mission, and Mike is going to wrap us up and wrap us up with that and his state, final statement. Mike, would you take care of that? Well, I will. Um, I, I have to say, what we need to be realistic. We're not going to get a new mission prior to best case 2012. This administration, I, I need to take the fuzz off things. This administration does not want the United States to have a human spaceflight program. I'm going to evoke Mark Twain. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. Now, what do I mean by that? If every single action having come out of the administration in the last 30 months works against having a NASA human spaceflight program and no action taken works toward it, uh, except those done under protest when Congress passes a law and they're trying to evade that, then the only conclusion you can reach is that the administration, which is not stupid, these are not stupid people. I disagree with them, but they are not stupid. The only conclusion that you can have is they do not want NASA to have a human spaceflight program, irrespective of what, what political pontification may occur. I think Gallup poll after Gallup poll after Gallup poll shows that 70, 75 percent of Americans want to have a human spaceflight program. When they think of NASA, they think of human spaceflight. Well, they should. Uh, so this administration is not going to wake up tomorrow morning and say, oops, we made a mistake. They're going to keep saying what they think Americans ought to want instead of what 70, 75 percent of Americans do want. So that will change in the future at some point. It'll change in 2012 or 2016. I don't know which. It's our job, uh, as the Congress has seen appropriately, it's our job to continue with the building blocks so that when somebody does say, you know, I want the United States to be on the frontier, we're not starting from scratch. There is not a realistic hope that we are going to get a, quote, mission, uh, unquote, again soon. There's just not. And so what we need to do is be planning our affairs as a community of spacefarers such that we retain, recover, keep the most that we can keep and be ready to go when somebody says, I, you know, I'd like to go. The reason why Deborah sees 100,000 students in space camp in Alabama, okay, in the United States is because we went to the moon. What I'm worried about is when 100,000 students want to go to China because they went to the moon. Thank you. Not right now. Um, I'll just then close by saying there are some plans which are so stupid that you know that they, that plan will not to come to fruition. You may not know what actually will occur. Right now with the U.S. space program, we don't know what will occur. What we know will not occur is the plan that this administration has put on the table because it does not pass, doesn't pass the sniff test. You will not change their mind. The Congress is not trying to change their mind. The Congress has carefully written a law. Regrettably, people don't go to jail for failing to obey this kind of law. The Congress has lit, written a law, and the question is whether the Congress can compel the administration to obey the law. They, you can't compel somebody to want to have a human spaceflight program. So let's do what we can do for the next few years. And that's what, that's what today was about. There's a very carefully laid out program on the table for what we can do, and it's all good. It does not require knowing a destination to know that the plan which has been put on the table with the space launch system and the multi purpose crew vehicle is a good plan. It doesn't matter where you want to go, you need what we're building. So let's just get busy and build it and wait and bide our time.